So you've come up in the cosmos and managed to leave your home world. You find yourself adrift in a solar system full of far-flung moons, flashing comets, and distant planets. You fancy yourself a trip to one of these places, places like Mars or the Belt, which may provide a new place to settle and a chance to get away from the crowds of planet Earth. Your spaceship, called the Wanderlust, is far more reliable than the ones the first humans took to explore the expanse of the solar system. But there's a problem, though. Fuel is limited, and the only refill station is at your destination, wherever that may be. Well, if you find yourself in this situation, don't panic. There is actually a way to go anywhere in the solar system using the least amount of energy without having to throw stuff out to reduce weight. You can't do this. Hey, stop. stop. You can't space them. Yes, I can. This ain't going to help anyone. Help us. He's crazy. You better button up. Everyone calm down. There's no need to throw anyone out the airlock. The solution is called a Hoffman transfer orbit, named after German scientist Walter Hoffman, whose work was actually inspired by science fiction. The Hoffman transfer is the best way for any space traveler on a limited fuel budget to go out and see the solar system. It's the cheapest way to fly energy-wise, sort of like Air Asia X, but for space. <laughs> How does it work? Well, everything in our solar system goes around the sun in an orbit. Some orbits are smaller and closer, like those of Mercury and Venus, while other orbits can be longer and wider, like Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune. Any spacer worth his or her weight in rocket fuel knows that the key to spaceflight is learning to safely transfer between orbits using the least amount of fuel. A Hoffman transfer is a type of maneuver that allows you to do just that going from a small inner orbit to a longer outer orbit, or from an outer orbit to an inner orbit. It puts you and your crew on an ellipse-like path centered on the sun that begins on your current orbit and ends at your desired destination orbit. To perform a Hoffman transfer, you will only have to fire your spacecraft engines two times to produce an instantaneous change in velocity. It's just a fancy term for trying to get as much thrust as possible over a very short duration of time. So make sure you strap yourself in when you do it. You do this rapid change in velocity to essentially kick yourself off of one orbit and onto another. You kick yourself once from the start orbit onto the transfer ellipse, and then you kick yourself again to go from the transfer ellipse onto the destination orbit. In between, you're pretty much flying with your engines off, coasting through the solar system while using miniature gas thrusters to correct your course. Psst, psst, psst. Sounds like spaceship farts. Getting this right involves some math, of course, but nothing too hard for your onboard navigation AI. 21st century humans have done it with several NASA rovers, and Matt Damon is set to pull it off in 2035, not too long from now. But the thing about Hoffman transfers, though, is that you can't do it all the time. This miraculous maneuver relies on an alignment between the planets that you're going to and from. This alignment happens when the planets are at a close approach. It creates an opening called a launch window that may vary for different places in the solar system. Windows to Mars open every two years, Mercury every few months, and Jupiter every one year. So think of it as like a train schedule for solar system transit, the conductor of which is the laws of physics. As you arrive at your destination, you will notice that your view will start to change, assuming that your spaceship has windows, of course as the planet or asteroid you're visiting starts to fill up the space in front of you. And if you're going at the right speed, you can then enter into orbit around it, arriving in style and with some extra fuel to boot. Enjoy your trip planet side, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, what's up? Sorry, I cannot put my face on this video because I'm having trouble finding myself a video camera. 
But if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And this video was made because I was getting into this TV series called The Expanse, which is a great series, by the way. I highly recommend it to everyone out there, whether you're into science or not. And it's, it's, a, it's a great work of science fiction, and which inspired this, the making of this video, as you can tell by the clips that I used. Anyway, I just wanted to say that if you're into science and science fiction, make sure to come by to TEDx MCKL, Methodist College of Kuala Lumpur, on the 1st of September, 2018, to get a, to attend a presentation by yours truly, me, Son of Terra 92. I'm giving a talk called When Worlds Collide, The Connection Between Science and Science Fiction. TEDx MCKL on the 1st of September, it, it'll be happening in the heart of Kuala Lumpur at Methodist College of Kuala Lumpur. Come by to all my science epic family out there. Uh, it'll be a great time. I'll be giving this talk, telling stories. There'll be free food. We'll have funny moments and epic, a lot of science epic going on at that place on that day. Thanks for watching this video. I'm here to plug TEDxMCKL. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.